Emotional intelligence and engineer typically aren't in the same sentence. Usually they're not even in the same room. I'm about to go over why emotional intelligence should matter to you as an engineer and how you can start building yours today. So I was the very stereotypical engineer who didn't know how to socialize. I didn't really have good communication skills. In fact, I was deathly afraid of talking to people on the phone when I first got out of the school. No one told me to care about my emotional or social intelligence all the way through my school. So I got out and basically was kind of felt like thrown in the deep end. And having to call people on the phone, I started basically getting some reps in and not worrying as much about calling people on the phone, meeting new people because I had to do it. So it was almost like exposure therapy. So when it came down to it, the hardest part for me was to see that there was a problem. And I think this is an issue that a lot of engineers face. So we don't know that we have an emotional intelligence problem, so it's very hard to get motivated to work on it. This is actually quite ironic because motivation is the fourth part of emotional intelligence after self-awareness, self-regulation, and empathy. So self-awareness was actually the hardest thing for me to deal with because I couldn't see I even had a problem. I lacked the awareness to see my awareness problem. Talk about meta. So in lacking the awareness to see my awareness problem, I did a variety of dysfunctional things. Like I was wearing an emotional mask in most of the relationships in my life for a number of years. And eventually I met someone who was incredibly emotionally intelligent, who saw behind the mask and called me out for it. And it led to almost an unraveling of my psyche. So what I'm trying to get across to you here in this video is don't put on that mask. Have the awareness to go start looking at your emotional intelligence and growing those skills now before you find yourself in a very dysfunctional path. So go start working on your emotional intelligence now before you put on an emotional mask and start developing dysfunctional habits. So in seeing that you have a problem, so maybe you don't like talking to people because you don't feel good enough, or maybe you don't feel technically competent enough so you don't voice your opinions during meetings. There's all sorts of things you could be doing here but having more self-awareness will help you to better regulate your emotions. So you need to be able to see them before you can regulate them. And seeing the emotions for me was best done at the end of the day, journaling how I felt. Because while I had this emotional mask on for years prior, I never did any reflecting. And it wasn't until I started doing a daily journal that I started catching myself. I effectively was an emotional robot I had no awareness, I had no idea how I was feeling, and I was trying to self-regulate through acting stoic, which wasn't very effective long-term. So I want you to not take that path. Don't try to just go be stoic, which I was seeing as just not being emotional at all. You need to acknowledge that you're human and you have emotions, and you need to have better self-awareness to what those emotions are. So start journaling. Finding some consistent prompts over time is a great way to start to see your progress and start seeing when you have things bubble up over time and starting to be able to label your emotions. And you'll start to see during your workday, if you have a meeting and something fires you up, you don't have to speak up about it, but maybe write down, wow, this frustrates the hell out of me. Something like that. It's like, I found this process very frustrating. And okay, now you're voicing it. And now that you've labeled it, then you can start to regulate that better. Maybe you need to bring awareness to it in the office, or maybe there's something you can do without anyone else's involvement. There's all sorts of things you can do here, but you need to have that awareness first. So start with the awareness, then you can start working on regulating. Once you have those two down, you can start working on empathizing with others. So taking on another's feelings, you can do this through active listening. So you're really listening to understand what the other person's trying to say, instead of just listening to respond. Very natural. If you're a technical person, you're usually just listening to get your own thoughts in. You don't really care about what the other person says, or at least I didn't way back when. But now I almost can finish the other person's sentence when they're talking, because I'm listening with that much intent to understand that I almost can articulate what they're saying sometimes better than they can. And that's because I'm empathizing on a deeper level. And that's a skill that you can go learn and you should learn. And then after that, you can start to have motivation. So I've worked on motivation after I've worked on the previous parts of emotional intelligence, having that high motivation to keep going over the long term, even when things are hard, especially when things are hard, is going to be great for you long term. It's also going to help you get ahead at work because you're going to be able to get through all the trials and tribulations of your engineering or technical job. And you're going to be able to get those promotions and those bigger raises than you were supposed to because you're going to be paying better attention to yourself and your group 
and how you can get more done for your organization. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.